Hello guys, this is Ruben Raj and welcome back to Laravel Tutorials. In my previous video, I have talked about how to handle parameters in routes and also have shown a demo how to pass the parameters from URL to UI. And in this video, I'm going to show how to bind uh, the data from your table to UI using your URL. It's a kind of a binding your data from the table directly to the UI and you can do this uh, so easily in Laravel and uh, today what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show a list of customers from the table uh, to your HTML page and also I'm going to show how to bind a specific customer uh, from the URL for that, uh, before I have created some uh, data in my customers table, you can see here there are five, uh, some random data present in my customers table. And uh, the I'm, I'm going to show two things in this video. And the first thing is I'm going to have a URL kind of like this. So if I hit this URL, I'm going to see all my customers in the UI. And uh, if I click any specific customer, it will redirect me to the uh, to see the specific uh, details of the customer and for this we don't need to write any code to uh, get connection to i mean uh, kind of a, a database connection code we don't need to write any uh, code for that because we already configured mysql database with laravel application so the only thing we need to do is we need to create model class for the customers table and uh, everything will be happen magically by laravel so the first thing is going to be like this uh, localhost and uh, slash customers I need to see all customers uh, in a list or something so I'm going to hit enter and it says uh, it couldn't be able to find the page because uh, we did not uh, provide this URL I mean we did not register this URL in our routes file so first thing is we need to register this URL in the routes so just go to your web.php file and uh, create a route uh, function and it's going to be the get request so the method name should be get and the url should be slash customers and uh, i want to show these uh, uh, details uh, from my controller so i want to create a controller for my customers and uh, the the uh, the file name uh, is going to be customer Mm, let's say customers controller and uh, the function uh, name is going to be show all customers so I need to create a controller file and in the controller file I should have a function called uh, show all customers but so far I haven't created this controller file so now I'm going to create this controller file uh, using a artisan command and uh, php I'll clear this php artisan make controller and uh, the controller name is going to be customers controller I'm just going to copy paste that and I'm going to hit enter so it says a controller created successfully so I'm going to open uh, the controller file so yeah customer customers controller so here we created the file, uh, the controller file, but the, we need to create this function show all customers. So I'm just quickly create this function. Function name would be show all customers. And from here, I need to return all customers. For that, we need to have a model class called customer in our application, but so far we don't create that uh, we, so far we don't created that uh, uh, model class and the model class are nothing but it represents a table in your database for example here there are uh, there are a couple of uh, tables in your database like uh, users and customers so you should have a model class called user and uh, you should have a model class called uh, customer to uh, give a mapping kind of uh, i mean relationship between your application and your database so where you have to write that file, I'll show quickly. 
So if you see here, under your application, you can see your uh, app folder. You have to create the model class right here inside this app folder. So when you create this uh, Laravel application, so by default, you will have this uh, model class uh, called uh, user.php. It, it represents nothing but the users table. So I want similar model class which represents our customer's table. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to execute a PHP artisan command. There are commands to create controllers and model files and everything. I'm going to create a customer model using a artisan command. So you can just see here, PHP artisan make and model. I'm uh, asking artisan to create a model for me and the model uh, name is going to be customer. And you should remember that it should be singular and the table name should be plural. So here you can see the customers and it should start with small letter. And here the model class should start with a capital letter and it should be a singular one. Because this is going to represent all the values in your customers table. And I'm going to hit enter. After this, it created a, a file called customer.php. It's nothing but our model class and i don't need to write anything in this file but i should have this file to uh, so that the laravel will uh, recognize that this customer uh, model class uh, represents this customer's table so i'm not going to write anything but i have to create this file to uh, read all the values from this customer's table so i'm going back to my controller class and i'm going to uh, import the newly created model class and it's uh, under app folder so i'm going to give us app slash customer and uh, i'm going to create a variable called uh, customers and uh, customer so this is going to be my model class and i'm going to call this function called all so what this function will do is it will get all the customers from the database, so sorry, from the customer's table and it will store uh, the values, the result in this customer's uh, uh, variable as a collection. So now I'm going to just print these customers as a collection. So customers, so we have defined uh, the URI here in web.php I'll just move these things up. So here I have defined the customers and I uh, have function for showing all customers. So I'm going to refresh the page now. So you can see here, now it's returned all the values in the customers table as a JSON array, but I don't want to see it as a JSON array. There is a function called DD dive and dump, uh, which is provided by Laravel. It's a cool function we can uh, uh, debug and we can uh, see results. Uh, every, I mean, it's a kind of uh, print statement. So it will print all the values uh, from this variable. So I'm going to refresh it again. And uh, here you can see uh, the result in the form of uh, collection. And here you can see the customers. There are five customers uh, in my table and uh, I'm going, I can see all the values here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to return this result to an HTML page and I'm going to have a kind of a list to uh, see this uh, result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return as a view and I want to return this HTML called index and it should come under customers folder customers.index and I want to pass this response in the form of array. So customers and uh, I'm going to tag this with the result. So far I didn't created this folder and this file. So quickly I will create these uh, under views. Under views I want a new folder called customers and uh, under customers I want a new file called index.html sorry not index.html index.blade.php so here i have created i want the skeleton of uh, html so what i'm doing is i'm just passing the result to the 
HTML page. Now I'm going to give the title as customers. And uh, here I'm going to, I'm just going to check whether I can uh, able to get the response in the HTML page. So we are passing the response in the name of customers and I'm going to just print the value in the, in the user interface. So now instead of uh, printing, we are just passing the view. And uh, here it says something is missing. Pass error, what's wrong here? Yeah, we need the semicolon here. So here you can say we are getting the response and uh, we can able to see it on the uh, interface. So I don't want to see these uh, like uh, JSON file, I mean JSON response. I want this uh, to be a list. So for that what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create an unordered list and I'm going to use the blade templates. So in blade they have a template for uh, for each statement. So here you can just uh, iterate your response and you can just print that in your user interface so the result will be stored in the name of customers so i'll have it as customers and uh, i'm going to call each value as a customer because i'm going to loop through customers and i'm going to get each customer once in the for loop so i'm going to print this in the list and whatever value you want to print you should provide that inside the double brackets double square curly brackets so and i'm going to print customer and you can access the uh, so now it's a kind of object so you can access any parameters using uh, i mean using this individual uh, i mean using this uh, single object like a uh, customer you want to if you want to print name you can say just name or if you want to print address you can just say address and now it's going to uh, show the result as a list of customer names so now i'm going to refresh the page so here you can see uh, we are printing the name from the database from the customers table as a list and uh, if i want to print uh, the address i can just copy paste this thing and uh, I'm going to say I want to see the address. Oops, sorry. Address. So I'm going to refresh the page now. See, it's uh, printing the address also. So like this, you can uh, give the, uh, you can show uh, the list of uh, all data from your table but if you want to see specific uh, detail of uh, of a customer you can just pass like uh, slash one so it means the first customer or slash two it means the second customer and if i if i press enter that there is no route because we didn't uh, register this uri in our route and uh, before that what we are going to do is we are going to make all these uh, items in the list as a uh, uh, link so that if I press the first item it will uh, open the first customer and if I click the second item it will uh, open the second customer so before that I'm going to make an anchor tab form before that I'll just remove this address and I'm going to have a anchor tab and I'll just put this name inside the anchor and I'll just format this little bit for more readable more readability and here we have a anchor and uh, here what we need to do is we need um, I think uh, there is a function in uh, Laravel we can just use that function to make the make our URL and your, our URL is going to be customers slash and uh, append the customer sorry customer ID because I want the new URL uh, look like a slash customers slash and the customer ID and I save this file and I'm going to refresh so here it made all the items as a uh, URL so if I click the first item it will redirect me to the first customer but we didn't uh, uh, 
uh, register this URL in our web.php file. So first we will do that. So I'm just going to copy paste this one. And here I'm going to give ID because this is going to be the ID of customer. And uh, here I'm going to have a new function called show customer. So in the previous function is show all customers and this one is going to be show customer. And uh, I'm going to have a function, new function called app. Wait a minute. Function and the new function is going to be show customer. And here, actually, this is what I wanted to show in this video. This is the main part of this video. How to bind the value which you passed in the URL directly to your model. So here I'm going to give it as a customer. This is fine. Yes, the spelling is right, customer. And I'm going to have a object of a customer. And even in the web file, I'm going to change this as customer. So here I provided it as customer. So if I pass one, what Lara will do is it will go to my table and it will look for ID one and it will get that object and it will map the result to the customer here. So you don't need to write any code like uh, find a customer, uh, find a customer in the customer table where ID is equal to one. So you don't need to write any query here. So it will be automatically fetch the value uh, from the table and it will give the result in this variable. So I'll just uh, print this here. Uh, customer. So I'm going to just print. So here I'm going to refresh. So if you see here, it printed me, actually it's printing the first uh, customer in the table, but I didn't write any code. I, I, actually I have passed only the parameter and based on the parameter, it's just uh, getting the value from the table. If I remove this, what it will do is it will just print only one here. So it means it's uh, we didn't bind uh, the value, the, the parameter value with the table. So if you give customer, what it will do is the Laravel understands that user is going to pass some value in the parameter and it's going to be the customer and go to the customer's table and find the ID one and just assign the object to this, to this variable. So it's a kind of magic. So if I do refresh, you will get this as an object. So you will have all, all values here. So here I'm going to print a maybe mobile number, mobile number. So here I'm just printing the mobile number of uh, first user, sorry, first customer. So now whenever I click anything, I mean, uh, any item in the list, it will go here to the specific uh, customer and it will just print the phone number of the specific customer. So this is how uh, you can bind your model with your route and uh, you can easily fetch the data from, uh, uh, from the table and you can just uh, print the result to the uh, requested user. So, this is what I wanted to show you guys in this video and uh, in my next video I'll uh, talk more about Eloquent and uh, how the model and Eloquent works together. And this is just a simple example to show how model binding works in routes and uh, in my next video I'll show the, I'll show the demo of uh, Eloquent how it works. And uh, if you like this video please give a thumbs up and uh, you can do subscribe to my channel and uh, Thanks for watching this video guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.